pricing decisions, cost plus pricing. In absolute backwards contrast to target pricing, cost plus pricing begins not understanding of what the market's prevailing prices are, but rather with the information about the company's costs. The basic formula here is that a markup is added to a cost base. For example, if a product has a cost of $100 to produce and a markup of 12% is to be applied, then the selling price is $112. Cost plus pricing begins with selecting an ROI, return on investment. This figure is typically expressed as a percentage and drives the desired income from financial inputs, that is costs. Cost plus pricing is a conservative form of pricing that seeks to ensure a baseline level of profitability. It is often employed in highly regulated industries, where in some cases, the maximum price is calculated as a markup of the company's cost. Common examples of this include utilities, electricity, water, or telecommunication companies. Prices in these industries are often capped by regulator as some amount of historical cost plus a market with regular rate increases, which often are tied to inflation. I worked at a company in Calgary, um, second or third, I believe, job after uh, becoming designated, and they were a large regulated utility. And this is exactly how they worked. Um, you had to, every, I believe it was five years, you had to put in for a rate um, application, lots and lots and lots of procedures in between. But um, the nuts and bolts of it were that you had costs and if you could justify your costs to the company, um, and then uh, you and the regulator uh, battle back and forth for that profit percentage. And then yeah, whatever your approved costs were, plus the approved, um, profit percentage, this went um, out to your, be your total revenues. And then your revenues were divided amongst your customers in what was referred to as a rate base. So your customers, uh, for example, was a utility. So the more of the utility that they used, the more of the rate base uh, they had to pay. So definitely backwards, definitely not intuitive, um, but absolutely something that is out there, um, prevalent and something you will likely encounter. Okay, you are assembling the cost of a go-kart for a cost plus pricing of this new product. The cost base is to be used in the variable manufacturing cost and the markup to be applied is 55%. The product requires the following direct materials, $142 in steel, $86 in rubber, $532 in components, that is seats, steering wheel, etc and each unit requires $960 in specialized direct labor for assembly. What should their selling price be? It should be A, $1,488, B, $2,666, C, $1,720, or D, $1,178. I highly encourage you to pause the video, break out your Excel, and try to figure this out for yourself, and then click back on and see if you got the right answer. Okay, so here they advise that the cost base to here is to be used as a variable manufacturing cost, and then we are advised that there's essentially two types of variable costs here direct materials and direct labor. So our direct materials are equal to 142 in steel plus our 86 in rubber, oops, 86 in rubber, plus our $532 in components. So if you take a peek here, you might wonder why there aren't any um, manufacturing overhead, variable manufacturing costs. But remember that manufacturing overhead is essentially direct materials and direct labor just drilled down enough. So either the variable manufacturing overhead was so immaterial, such as little, little, little bits of glue, uh, and were simplified away for this um, item, or maybe it's a go-kart that is, oh goodness, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's just kind of one of those click and uh, component eyes items. Okay, either way, um, our only variable costs here 
we can only do what we are given. So we have our direct materials, which add up, as I just said, uh, for $760, pardon me, yes, $760, plus we have our direct labor, our $960 of specialized labor. That gives us our total variable costs of $1,720. Uh, we require a markup of 55%. So 55% of our $1,720 is $946. So that means our total selling price needs to be $2,666, which is B. So the correct answer here is B. All right, you are doing great. Uh, we have one more video after this, so hang tight and you're almost there. Thank you so much uh, for your hard, hard work. I know it isn't easy, but I really hope you start seeing all these items come together. And please do leave time to do the tutorial videos as well as start working towards your study plan as you head into break. Thank you.